Starting with the definition for G that we arrived at last time, which is the Lazada transform of F, we're going to apply this now to thermodynamic state functions to derive new state functions that depend on new variables. So, how do we do this? Flip over my notes here to make sure we go in the right order. Suppose we start with the function energy, which as a function of entropy, volume, and mole number. S e is a function of S, V, and N. We want to convert this into a new state function. Suppose we took the Lagrangian transform of E with respect to one of these variables. Let's just choose S for the first one. So let's take the, the definition here, G, just to call it little g for, it, for, for this example. And we'll derive this new function equals E minus, let's take this um, Lagrangian transform with respect to S. Del E, del S, everything else kept fixed, which would be V and N in this case, times the, the Xi at which we're taking the Lagrangian transform with respect to, which is S. So what is E equals partial E, par minus partial E, partial S, respect to V and N held fixed times S. What is this new function in this instance? Well, first we have to figure out what is partial E, partial S. Well, if we write down, the, if you don't know this already, we can write down the balance equation, DE equals T DS minus T DV plus mu DN. From this, you can easily see that partial E, partial S is equal to T. So this is a path dependent uh, uh, state function that depends on multiple variables, S, V, and N. We can take this to be now dividing through by DS. DV kept fixed because it's kept constant. Uh, so this is zero. DN is zero because that's kept constant. You end up with del E, del S, a constant V and N equals T. which we got to originally in other ways by using just the first and second laws of thermodynamics. But as you can see, it's equivalent here, so now we can substitute this in to our equation up here for g. And what we end up with is this new function, little g, equals e minus t s. This is not little g, this has a definition. This is actually called the Helmholtz free energy A equals E minus T S. And you write down here Helmholtz. So now you apply the Lagrange transform to energy. We're taking the, the transform of energy with respect to entropy and arrived at a new state function, the Helmholtz free energy, which is E minus T S. So we can go a little bit farther here and figure out what A is a natural function of. We have A equals E minus TS. DA equals DE minus T DS minus S DT. So now what you do is substitute in your equations here. So you have dA equals dE, which we just had on the board a second ago, is equal to TDS minus PDV plus mu dN, or mu is chemical potential. And then dA minus TDS minus SDT. TDS is cancel out, and we're left with dA equals uh, minus S dT minus P dV plus mu dN. And so A is a natural function of T, 
B, number of moles N. That's Helmholtz free energy. That's how we get to it. We can use it in many other applications later on, but this is at the very basic level where it comes from.